juices in there. Yeah. Okay, Alexis, which way do you push it? More this way, more this way? Um, more this way. More this way. Yeah. Let's have a look and see what you're looking to do. Okay. A little phone, sorry. It's a little phone. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> it's got an image. I like this. So it's nice and short in the back and a little longer and heavier on the top. Yes, I have another one that's like... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Got front and back view. Front and back view. So, how are you doing today, Dana? Good. Yeah. 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 Find a new boyfriend? <laughs> no. Are you still same with the same guy, one? Same guy. Is he boyfriend status? No, not boyfriend status. What is it? Uh, we're casually dating. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, think, I don't know. We haven't talked about it. Is he watching? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Like 90% sure. 90% sure. Well, we're here in Soho, but we're going to be getting back to Brooklyn next week. Fresh razor? Yeah. So I'm going to take my razor and uh, V for Victory. We've been teaching classes all over the country. And I'm going to do some razor cutting on Alexis right now. Mainly, we're going to take the back out, so come around here, young uh, camera person. Mm -hmm. It's hot, it's the summer. How hot is it, Rebecca? Pretty hot. Are you, do, do you like the heat? No. You don't like the heat? Not at all. Wow, you're like a, you're like a grandma, aren't you? I don't you? like to sweat. You're, you're a grandma trapped <laughs> in a young person's body. That's not, you know, false. <laughs> <laughs> is it, am I right? Yeah. I, I know, you're a grandma. Try, That's true. Me, uh, what's your husband's name, Alexis? Tolu. Tolu? Yes. He's up there sweating. Yes. With, with, your, newborn, your, new, with your newborn child. It's his yeah? first time being like alone with him. Is it? That's what he said to you. So what do I do? I said pray. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not happy. So when I'm not happy, I restart. Let go. So, we're going to do like a little graduation with a razor on curly hair. My second model's coming on the train. So, it's a typical chaos day in New York City. I've got Grandma Rebecca here who doesn't like to sweat. And I've got Dating Dana. <laughs> and Baby Mama. Yeah. Let's get the whole nine yards. All right, so let's do a little, uh, she's dying to get rid of all this, I'm sure. Yes. Dying. So we're going to we're gonna do like a, a kind of a graduation with a razor. But the truth of the matter is, with the hair being curly, the hair's going to spring. So it's not going to be so graduated, but really focus on your line. Don't forget, this weekend, I am going to be in Los Angeles. And I'm also going to be in San Diego. I fly to LA on Saturday after work and I have a two-day razor class. There is one spot available on the two-day razor class. It's a razor fundamentals class. So you want to come and see me in LA? There's one spot available. Contact Loretta at Erosio or go on Erosio Pro and sign up. Right. What I do now is I just take my... Um, I'll take my comb and I'll just refine it with a scissor. So I'm just going to refine it with a scissor. Just get that baseline really good. Sometimes it works out perfectly and sometimes I want to refine it. When I want to refine it, guess what I do? What do I do, Dana? Cut it. I refine it, that's it. I get in. So just want to tighten that up just a dribble, just a dipple. Two weeks since our last confession, two weeks since our last Brooklyn Live. Because uh, it was last week was what, the 4th of July? Yeah. Celebrating independence, baby. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we tighten that up. Now it's time for me to continue on. I'll go back to my razor comb. Wider teeth on the razor comb. So my class this weekend is at Planet Salon. And we also have a Happy Mondays, which is on the upcoming Monday at Planet Salon. So if you want to come for a complimentary demonstration, myself, Lucy Jacoby, who's actually in town to teach an American Wave certification on the Monday. So if you want to get certified in American Wave, that's on the Monday. 
and then uh, we're going to be doing a Happy Mondays and then my dear friend Mr. Jeff Stump from Architects he's actually going to be uh, working alongside me on the Happy Mondays so we'd love to see you in LA for a little bit of fun, education, celebration and a jubilation. I'm just keep making up All words right. today, everybody. <laughs> That's not a made up word. It's a jubilation. That's good. So, Alexis just had a beautiful young boy. How old is he? He is a month now. He's a month? Yeah, he'll be five weeks on Friday. Dad's upstairs shaking him like a <laughs> salt and pepper shaker. And, uh, and we're working fast in case I hear, you know, screeches. Fine teeth of the razor comb. The blade is pretty flat, and I'm moving the blade up and down, and the hair, the blade is always engaged with the hair. Just nice and about a half inch worth of softness. David says good morning. Uh, it's 95 there. David. Kin Kinnigson. Oh, David Kinnigson. Uh, uh, listen, I've got your text, David. And we have to talk, and you're on my list for sure. So David, we'll be in touch today or tomorrow or over the weekend. We've got a lot to talk about. But David's going to be uh, one of my guest presenters at my event called Inspired, which is happening this October. And it's which is going to be spectacular. And uh, it's, it's all about being inspired and, and getting re-inspired. It's going to be a phenomenal, emotional, um, entertaining, exclusive, inclusive soiree. You like that? Can I get some more words in there? What do you think, Ray? Probably. Probably. So I'll be in touch, David. And 95, I was just in um, West Palm Beach, and uh, we had a great time. I did a great program with my friend Tracy Vasquez at Scotch Bonnet. And then uh, I also did some salon visits, which was very exciting. So yes, we're sweating here too. Roncon says you're missing the hurricane party. Category one hurricane out west. All right, Roncon. I went to see Ron in his natural new habitat. My dear friend Ron. So Alexis, this is gonna feel really short. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can handle it. Okay. Oh. Oh my god! Why didn't you show that? <laughs> <laughs> I was okay, so you showed me. You'll still be okay. You'll still be okay. Classic, <laughs> classic clean technique with the razor. Nice clean sectioning. Tight. I'm elevating just a little now. I I feel the hair fall away behind my fingers. But I comb the hair nice and tight, nice and taut, like strings of a guitar, fine teeth of the comb, and the flat of the blade. Moving the blade, this is called an open stroke. We move that blade up and down about an inch. So that means the rotation of the movement is about an inch. Brian says, good morning, gang. Good morning, Brian. Brian who? Brian Waldron. Is it Brian Waldron? We're going to see Brian in two weeks for our Ambassador Artistic Team training. And that is uh, where we're, our artistic team is being pulled together to help us as we build our brand across America. We have confirmed about 28 people now for the artistic team training. It's going to be really exciting. And the artistic team as a team is going to help us as we start to spread and build our message nationwide. Lots of changes in the Erojo business, lots of changes in the Erojo brand. Never stop. We never stop moving, we never stop working. This is what I'm doing right now. Is I'm actually cutting the hair slightly longer. So I'm not cutting the hair shorter on the line. I'm actually doing what I like to refer to as reverse graduation. It's getting a little bit longer. That's going to keep it a little squarer. I don't want it to graduate too high like this. I want it to kind of sit a little bit more, uh, you know, less graduated and a little bit more thicker. That's what I want because curly hair is going to shrink. But Thursday morning here in Soho, we have class. We have a L'Oreal class right now as we speak. 
happening on the top part of our epsilon. And then we have our class, our cutting class, which is pretty much we have class every day, Monday through uh, Monday through Friday. So we're on the salon floor in Soho. Nikki says, looking forward to seeing everybody in LA. Oh, Nikki, thanks so much for helping us. It's going to be a busy time, Nikki. We got a lot of people on class. Tia so. says, good morning from Charlotte. Hey, Tia. Tia is coming to see us for our ambassador acting training, I believe. So we're excited for that, Tia. So I'm just opening that blade up a little bit. But remember, I'm letting the hair get a little longer. A little longer as we go. So I'm cutting the hair just to drop longer. That way it's going to keep it a little bit thicker looking and less elevated. You have to judge the, um, even though it's curly hair, a lot of people like always say don't raise the curly hair. It's not the razor that does the damage, it's the, the hair does it. Yeah, if I over shred the hair it's going to not be pretty. But I'm going to make sure I don't over shred the hair. We prep the hair with uh, shampoo and conditioner. We used our amazing American Wave hair care brand and American Wave is uh, we used a rehab shampoo, submerged conditioner to get the curl in perfect, perfect condition. A little bit of pampering for moms, brand new moms, so we did a bit of pampering and a little bit of short hair. Ready in, just in time for uh, or soon to wake up and get scared. It's like, Mom, what happened to your head? Notice my sections worked up like so, and now as I hit the back of the ear, my sections start to rotate. So I still keep the section from this point. When you work cleanly, you can work quicker. When you work in a sloppy fashion, you have to do things twice, so if you keep it nice and clean, you can just do things once. You also want to have the hair, as I say all the time, have the hair the perfect dampness. And when you are dealing with a new mom, the hair texture is usually a bit wackadoo. I know that she's uh, feeding her child, so her hair's still thick. Uh, women lose their hair post, you know, once, once they stop feeding, that's when the hair starts to fall out. They don't feed the hair falls out pretty quickly after the uh, pregnancy. So right now the hair is thick, but it's in a different way. I've cut Alex's hair, Alexis's hair a few times. And you know, when, 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 uh, when we go through pregnancy, the hair will change because of the hormonal change. But she's still got great curly hair. And you can see with the shape that I'm creating. She's going to be able to feel the warm air on her neck. I would say cold, but it's nice and breezy. Nikki asks, are you using that technique, leaving the hair longer on straight hair too sometimes? Uh, not so much. Because what happens is, is as uh, you do it on straight hair, it just, it has no purpose. Or oh, the purpose isn't as good. Because the, re the purpose here is as the hair shrinks, I want it to stay squarer. If I were to cut it on the line, it would go more graduated looking. It's all about the shrink in the hair. That's what it's all about. Adrian says this looks so fresh. Thanks, Adrian. Kelly says, hello, wish I had time to go to San Diego with you and Anthony. Yeah, come on. Come on over here. This is my next, my next late behavior. Come on. Where'd you go? What's up? What's up? What's up? What are we doing with your hair, lady? Get above the shoulder. Get above the shoulder. Show me your pictures. We're both doing short. Yeah, come on, Sam. Don't start getting all soft and wimpy on me right now. Now, you know, you gotta lose an extra inch because you're late. Dun, 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 dun. I can take the pair down the way. It's gonna look awesome. 
Did you find it, Sin? Look, look, look. She's like discombobulated. <laughs> Completely discombobulated. She went to the wrong shop. She doesn't know what day it is. She's definitely on it. Her fingers. Like that. Yeah, let's do that. That's the length. That's the length. Like, but do I know since I have curly hair, like... Yeah, don't worry. We'll make it a little bit longer so it shrinks to yeah. that. Yeah? Yeah. Like, yeah, ooh. Well, oh. that's just like when it's tossed, I guess, but that's like really just the look. We got the look. Ah, uh, you want to share? like bang-wise, I don't know. Bang-wise? You want bangs too? No. Nah, you don't want bangs. curly hair? No, I'm okay. No bangs. Let's shampoo her with, uh, let's use some rehab. Okay. Let's get her into rehab. Might as well, we gotta keep moving. So, we'll bring it all the way in. I use my clip, keep it nice and clean. We'll over direct the hair back. As we come over the ear, with it being curly, you don't have to worry about the ear at all. I tend not to bother with the ear anyway. I don't worry about the jump. But I am gonna over direct the hair slightly back. We have our new hairdresser here, we like that. We got a new one in the house. Hiya. Over there to your back. I'm using more of the back of the blade, keeping the razor away from the face. Ian says, love, peace, and hair grease from Manchester. Ah, hello Ian from Manchester. Love, peace, and hair grease. He must have been thinking about that one all week. So. <laughs> he was waiting. He was waiting to use love, <laughs> peace, and hair grease. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I see a silver lining. <laughs> uh, yes, I do, mommy. So it's okay. Uh -huh. So look at these nice thick sections. As you move into the top of the head, the sections can be thinner. It's a kind of a simplistic cut. It's basically aligned with a little texture. And then what we're going to do before we uh, finish, we're going to go through and we're going to channel out some pieces to create a little bit more space. I don't want it to be thin because the look is now thick and full. All right, so I'm just going to pass by here. Come on here, Rebecca. So now again, what I like to do is I always like to take the section all the way from the back. Just to take the section from the back. Keep it nice and clear. And then there you go. Calm this hair down. Put the head up slightly. And over there with two back. I'll split it over the ear. Pull this in. A little bit more of the edge. So on this side, again, keeping most of the blade away from the client. We'll over there at your back. This gets a little longer towards the front. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand in front behind my client. I'm going to look in the mirror. I'm going to pull both sides down. I'm going to pull them in. I'm going to see whether I get it to match. And they're in the right place. So that's going to just like a little check. Check in, check in. Next section. So we're probably going to do two very similar types of cut today. So as you kind of see me cut, if you do have questions, Rebecca will certainly ask me. Francisco says, hello, Nick from the boys. <laughs> hey, Francisco. I'm going to be heading up to, uh, I've got a lot of traveling coming up, yeah, the best thing to do is get connected to Arojo and Arojo Social, we seem to be getting a lot more memberships uh, adding up right now, um, you know we've got a lot of travel, a lot of work, I'll be traveling, we're halfway through the year, I've traveled a lot, got a lot more travel to go, some of the places are going to be in Boston, we're going to be in Philly, we're going to be in Atlanta, I'm going to be back in Portland. I'm going to be in San Diego, I'm going to be in LA. A lot of different places. I'm going to be in Iowa. I'm going to be in Milwaukee, Minneapolis. I'm going to be in the Jeffrey Pass, that kind of sounds like. All right, so now we're kind of almost finished. One day, use my hydro mix. 
and I'm just going to separate, put a little bit of separation throughout the neck. And then we'll put some products in, and I'll go into uh, Francisco says, Graham says hello too. Oh, awesome. And Hinsu says, thanks, Nick, for your energy and inspiration. Oh, Hinsu is back. Thank you, Hinsu, for all yours. So here we go. It's going to channel, channel, channel. Section again, nice and thick, nice and clean. Turn the hair straight out. We're just going to look in the hair, gonna channel, channel. Try and keep it consistent if you can. You don't to be, you want to try and keep it so the density and the thickness is consistent on both sides. So it's not just like whacking through it, it's being strategic. Look through the hair. Channel, channel. Notice I go about two and a half inches deep about two and a half inches deep from the ends. I'm not in here, I'm in here. And I'm just separating, putting a little bit of separation in the hair. I'll drop the chair down a little for comfort. And channel, 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 there you go. So use the side of the blade and make quite defined, definitive kind of pieces throughout the shape. We can sit on this side and then we'll style the products in and ready to style. Kelly asks, what keeps you motivated? Oh, Kelly, that's a good question. Uh, I suppose the fear of paying the bills keeps me motivated. Yeah, I bit off a lot. There's a lot going on, and I've got to still try and stay motivated to keep it moving forward. Yeah, it's like you get one chance, don't you? Yeah, you can have a hundred dreams, but you get one chance, you get a chance. So I've got a chance, and I'm, I'm working through my chance. Channel, channel. If you stay busy, sometimes it can help you stay focused. Channel, channel. Sometimes you have to do things that you don't want to do. It's a bit like you know, getting to the gym sometimes. You go to the gym, you feel good. You don't go to the gym, you get tired. You don't get to the gym. You don't get the benefit of the workout. Lifting this right up. Channel, channel, channel through. So you create the separation. Nice and clean. Side of the blade. Same again, it's working right the way around the hairstyle. The good news is I didn't hear, what's your son's name? Zion. Zion. Yeah, I didn't hear no screaming, Zion. Donna asks, do you have a special technique for channeling with a scissor as I have a client who will not allow a razor on her hair? Yeah, you could do this with a scissor. Pass me my scissor. So if you're doing this with a scissor, you just go in. Cut. 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 So you're kind of, it's slightly cleaner with a scissor. So it's the same concept. Only you keep your scissors moving because they're not as sharp as a razor. Don't scrape, keep the scissor moving. All right, so I've worked it all the way around. There's this piece in the middle, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna turn this back. Let me get the, uh, Let's get some co-definer. That's all we're going to use. Elixir we're going to use, actually. Elixir. Is it? It's your favorite. Good. Yes, use the elixir. I want the elixir in my head, darling. Who says that? Me. Oh. I'll do my channels here. Okay. Donna says, oh my god, I love you. Thank you for demonstrating that. Oh, you're welcome. Francisco wants to know if you have kids. I do have kids, Francisco. I have twin boys, they are nine. Yeah. You can check them out. Do you have 
can't stop the question. Not you, Rebecca. I was gonna say what? <laughs> you can't have kids, Rebecca. You're your grandma. It's too late for me. You're your grandma, Rebecca. <laughs> your grandma tracks. Uh, no, if I have grand grandkids, maybe. Yeah. Wait, are those my grandkids? <laughs> Almost done. Almost done. Francisco asked, do you remember a club foot from your DJ days? I sure do, man. I sure do. I've still got a club foot. <laughs> That's awesome club for yeah, that's back in the good old days. La da di, la da da. Who was that? Francisco. Sorry? Francisco. No, Crystal Waters. That's the song. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were I thought you were asking me who asked the question. Crystal Waters. <laughs> <laughs> she wakes up early in the morning just to get ahead of I saw her on stage last year. Okay, let's use this product. Pull that for me. Let's get Mama Bear out. There you go. Say goodbye to your hair, Cynthia. Yeah, gonna cut it all off. Yeah. Yeah, so long in here. I know. Got my shoes. This is a new style. It's the new style <laughs> shoe. This is this is called the Chewy. After Chewbacca. Yeah. Elixir. American Wave Elixir, beautiful product. Nice amount. This is a nice, an oil gel. Brilliant product. Take out. Oh, that's my kids. Starting to looking at me and saying, oh, there's one show. Look, well, there he is. Look, there he is. Michael! Hi, son. So, walk around. I think the salon doesn't take long, it's five minutes. Plan your time accordingly when you're with your clients. Before you start, map it out. You'll know who's going to be quicker and who's going to be slower. That's why it's important to always work on time. Work to time. Very, very critical to work to the right time. And it's nice and easy. Work all the way to the centre. And then I'll do the same on the other side. Then comb it. This hair's used the fuzziest. 
around this area here because that's where this, most of the sleeping happens. Yeah, so that head takes the biggest amount of her. Uh, because it's soft, but it really creates great separation. Non-flaky, doesn't flake. Uh, silicone, paraben free. Part of our boutique American Wave collection. American Wave is our boutique collection of curly hair products for curly hair, products for curly hair. It's important to just take your time, lock this stuff in, push it away from the face. Comb it from the root, make sure the roots are combed. Comb it from the root, that smooths it out. By twisting it, it locks in the fuzzy wuzzies. <laughs> Donna says, awesome as usual. Thanks, Ronkin says, can you do a no roller perm with American Wave? <laughs> yes. You can, but we don't call it a perm. We call it an American wave. Yeah, so you can create whatever you want with American wave. It's a waving lotion. We used to call it. We, call it, we used to call it a perm lotion. Yeah, because it's a permanent waving lotion. I got rid of the name perm because it's so fashion. So the wave is called American wave. Keep an eye out on our Instagram because Tina and I just did a great shoot and video. We did, I'm still waiting to see it. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> Christine sent it to you yeah. today. She just spoke to me about it. And the images. We're going to be putting it on our social channels. Filmed by uh, a gentleman by the name of Robert. Robert owns a salon with his wife. Pilot Salon is an amazing photographer, videographer. They made a great 30 second promo for American Wave. They're going to be putting it out there. They're starting this week. Francisco asks, is your wife a hairdresser and how did you meet and where? Yeah, this is She's a hairdresser and I met her in the hair salon. A long time ago. Spin it. Let me just separate. Are you set? Are you set to go, Dana? Yeah. I'll blow dry down there. Yes, I do. So we're going to diffuse the situation. Try not to shake it at all. The hair is set. We'll take a roll. We're going to use our diffuser. You've seen this before. This is the Erosia YS Park sub diffuser. Just diffuse it as much as possible. And once it's not only five percent right, you can check on. So similar kind of lock, so be easy. Make your alignment correct. 
this razor comb comes in white and comes in black. It's nice when you're cutting dark hair to use the light one. And when you use cutting kind of blonde hair, use the dark one. She's got quite a bit of curl to her hair. So we got to it's gonna jump. But don't be too timid. Yeah. So right in a right about here, just above the spine. Keep it nice and flat. Practice really good coming, and this is edge work. You might want to get there. Can you get the blade? Can you get the blade? Mm -hmm. This is, we call this edge work. So look at that, there's hardly anything, not much texture in there whatsoever. And then on this side, what we learn, we'll be teaching on the class in LA this week. You start with the back of the blade, come around this side, Rebecca. Sorry. I want people to watch this. On this side, you start with the back of the blade. And it's a different piece of the blade that's cutting. Because you're kind of pushing that blade in like this. Bang, 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 bang. So you want to keep it nice and tight. So the texture, very little texture. I'll stay on this side. Make sure you can't just head in the center. Don't make your sections too thick. If your sections are too thick, it's hard to see your guide. So that's about right. You can just about see the guide right in here. Come it down. Start at the back of the back of the blade. Notice how the blade, it's a different piece of the blade cutting. And you'll see that's what you're creating right here. That means you've got that tautness right on the neck. On the opposite side, what happens is on this side, we move the hand. So it's the same piece of the blade. As we rotate the blade around, and it's a sharp little chopping motion. There's Curly Hair Day. Curly Hair Day with the razor. You still breathing, Cynthia? Time for something else. Turn this hair slightly back. I can feel it disappear behind my fingers. And now I can move a little bit more. I'm going to over direct it back. It's going to guarantee it gets a little longer towards the front. So yeah, if you're interested, this weekend in LA, I'll be at Planet Salon. On Tuesday night, I'll be in San Diego. San Diego, I'm uh, heading out there. I'm gonna be with my friend, Anthony H. Ticket to $25, it's gonna be in downtown San, uh, San Diego. Come and check us out. Two hour demonstration, and we'll be hanging out later. After that, I fly back up to New York. Next, the following weekend, we have our ambassador. We have actually have an event here in New York. It's a barber shop event. It's a barbering event. Ooh, yeah, it's good. It's a barbering event. It's called the Buzz. It's on Sunday. Then I'm going to I'm, I'm going to head to Philadelphia. I'm going to be on a little pop-up education for them. Then at the end of July, we have our ambassador artistic team training. I think that's all you need to know because it's a lot. Every month we have a lot to get through with a ratio brand. But if you want to stay tuned with what we're doing, stay tuned with us on a Rojo social. Where do they get the uh, where do they get that from, uh, Rebecca? Get what from? A Rojo social. Oh the app store. The app store. Definitely go to my uh, website, Arojo Inspired, and I'll tell you about the event that we're doing in October. It's a very exciting event. It's a new type of event called Arojo Inspired. And then we, we just launched our date for Expo 2020, which I'm super excited about. Because Expo 2020 is going to be at the TWA Hotel, which is at JFK. 
newly, it's kind of kind of restored the original terminal and then added a hotel. It's incredible. It's going to be Expo 2020. Walking all the way up the back of the head. I can elevate it now a little bit. Same kind of idea applies to what we did with uh, with Alexis. Letting the head stay a little longer. The head should be curly on the roof and straighter on the top. and be definitive in your, uh, in your technique. Keep it simple. Simple is more successful. It gets complicated or overly complex and won't be as nice. Just loosen that. I tell you, I close the blade, loosen that up, put the head up so you can see the magic. Two more sections. Then we'll spin around to the front and we'll see if you guys. So see how tight I'm putting the head? Through. Open stroke. Now I'm opening the stroke so it's a bit looser. From being super tight. I'm loosening the hair out, so a little looser on the top. And then over here, final section, exactly the same as what we did with Alexis. Same approach. The hair's the technique's similar. The the hair's slightly slightly different, a little bit less curly. Notice on these top sections, I'm just a lot looser. That gives me a little bit more aeration, a little bit more air around the surface, which will create a little bit more, a little bit more space, creates a little bit more air, so it's a little softer. Spin around. Start right here. Start on this side. Come through. Shampoo the hair with the rehab shampoo and conditioner. Very, very prepared with hair. Found hair silver lining too. Yeah. Right, over the top of the ear. There's the, there's the ear, over the top. Come on with this back. Keep it going. Turn it down. Keep it back, we're gonna turn it down, keep it back. There she goes. There she goes. Next section. Now your sections can get nice and thick. Because the hair is usually less dense through the sides and through the top. So the main work is done in the back. Busy Thursday here with the Rojo in our Soho salon. It's the end of the weekend, it's July the 4th. It's a quiet time for all salons. And then it starts to feel like that again. There you go. Don't forget this weekend if you're interested, American Wave City Vacation. We have Lucy, she's going to be traveling to LA with me. She's doing our American Wave City Vacation that's on Monday at Planet Salon. You can check it out. If you want to get certified in American Wave, definitely come by, check it out, erosiopro.com, and you can get uh, certified in American Wave. Just knocking that out of the way. Simplistic technique, but you know, even the simplest of things you got to do super well. We want to learn classic hair cutting in August. I'm teaching a classic cutting program. All season work, a full week. Sunday, 
through Thursday, starting August the 4th. Your uh, hydro list is even the opposite size. And the head. Put it out of the way. Slightly to the side, remember the ear. Top of the ear is right there. And you just pull this back to make this into the back. Head slightly positioned over. Rotate your blade, the edge of the blade. Nice clean edge work right the way through. And then as you come through here, you've got the guide now. We're just going to connect. Now it's touch point time. When I say touch point, I'm going to just grab a piece and have a look. Standing behind, don't look away. Look at your hands, see if you're balanced. Feels pretty good. And now what we're doing is we're carrying on. I feel the hair disappear. I not only see it, I feel it. Disappears behind my fingers. Because I'm cutting on the back side of my fingers. I'm not cutting on the inside. I'm cutting on the back side. Inside is here, back side is here. So I'm cutting on the back side of my fingers. So you feel the hair. Survive with Dana? Yes, I love it. Good change. How are we doing, Dana? I'm happy. Good. Good. Yeah, hold just in time. Just in time. So if you're in LA, I've got friends in LA, let me know we're gonna be in LA Monday night. Happy Mondays, Planet Salon. Some guest hairdressers with me. Lucy, Jeff, maybe a couple more. And then also, don't forget San Diego. That'll be Tuesday, it's the 16th. Anybody that's a little, Sim? Okay, product wise. I'm gonna go with American Wave, I'm gonna go with the structure. Is the time. Tension. 
Excited, Mr. Alex from Trio in Chicago is going to be coming to New York for the Inspired event. Super excited about it. If you get your ever interested, you want to get connected to the Erosion Ambassador program, we're really doing very well with it. It's interesting. Well, we've. Uh, We've been working less and less with our distributor partners, more and more independently. We're starting to see a lot of success with our brand. Especially with the creation of the artistic team. You know, every goal you go through is a new channel. And sometimes you have to go through that passage to get to the other side. This is a styling cream, it's got vitamin E, Abasu oils, great product. It's gonna work some in, and we're just gonna leave it to dry. Take about this much. Can I grab that for me, six, sir? Pomade. This is our soft pomade, high shine pomade right here. 
So this little bit, I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna rub it in my hands. I'm gonna come right away through. The nice thing about pomade is it's soft and it's high shelf. It'll help to calm down some of the fussy pieces. I have a lot of those. It's a product that's really not used that much on the glass, but it's brilliant to taste. Yeah, brilliant. Because it just gives that hair a little bit more. It, it takes away the fuss. That's what you found with. It takes away the fuss. It just controls it. Brush is good too, it's a nice soft bristle, a flat pattern, or a wide tooth pattern. It's not a round brush or anything like that. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so you see what happens is with the pomade, it gives up the ability to keep the helmet. Two razor cuts, a lot of fun. It's our girls, Alexi and Skinny. We'll see you next week. Don't forget, see us in LA. Okay, bye.